we didn't play very well, and they played great. And uh, give Creighton credit for the way that they came out and, and played the right way for 40 minutes. And you know, certainly it's a learning opportunity and a growing opportunity for our team. And our guys have come out with great energy and, and responded well, just exactly what we thought they would do. Now it's about carrying that over uh, to the game in between the lines tomorrow night. We're playing a tough physical team. It's going to be a completely different uh, game than what we saw on Sunday. Uh, one of the most physical teams in our league. They have great size, and they really hit the offensive glass hard. We're going to have to be much better. We've, we've given up double-digit offensive rebounds the last three games, and that's something we're going to have to fix and be much better, better tomorrow night if we want to win. What, what do you want to see as far, as far as a response from Sunday when you think about it? I just Wednesday? want to see a competitive group. I want to see a team that goes out and fights from start to finish. And there's no reason to believe that that won't happen. I, our guys, uh, you know, we watched it on film. We had a lengthy film session, and we came out and really got after it these last couple of days. And you know, now it's about going out and, and executing for 40 minutes. We did not play a smart basketball game. We were two for 18 on contested rim attempts in the game the other night. You can't do that against Colt Brenner. He's going to make you pay. He's going to alter shots. He's going to block shots, and that's what fueled them a lot getting out in the break and we didn't guard the bounce uh, very well and that's, that's what got us in rotation and you can't have that against a team like Creighton they'll just make you pay every time you make a mistake against a team like that you're going to pay for it so you know tomorrow uh, to, it's a big game first opportunity in league play first opportunity playing in a true road game for our team and you know we'll see how we respond but you know if it's anything like the last couple days uh, I think we'll come out and play with great effort for 40 minutes. These last couple days Anybody that's not going to talk is going to be off the floor. And uh, I didn't have to do that one time. I didn't have to stop the drill because guys weren't talking. Now the challenge is you take that from a practice court to a game where you're going to face adversity, and that's what it's all about. And you know, if our guys can do that and find a way for 40 minutes to communicate and talk to each other and execute the game plan, you're going to give ourselves a chance. But you know, we just we didn't do that on Sunday. And again, that team uh, it has so many weapons. And, and if you mess up a coverage and, and you don't communicate a coverage, uh, you're going to pay. Dawson Garcia, what kind of? You know, he's a pretty unique matchup just with his size and perimeter shooting ability. What, what, what's the key to stopping him? Yeah, he, and he's coming off the best, best game of his career. He had a 36-point game against Ohio State, almost brought them all the way back. And uh, it was a 20-point deficit, and they brought that thing all the way down to five in the second half. And a lot of that was just Garcia. They were clearing out the side, letting him go to work uh, in a one-on-one. -on -one. He's a, it's not just a rink or a Josiah uh, or a Matar problem. It's a whole team problem when he has the ball. Obviously, his abilities, he's, he's a uh, roller at times, and, he, and he'll also pick and pop, uh, where he's a very efficient uh, three-point shooter. So, you know, it's just doing everything you can to contest him, uh, try not to let him get easy ones. Uh, you know, if we, if we come out and have good attention to him, which we're going to have to do, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be okay. But he's, he's a heck of a player, and he's playing the best basketball of his career right now. You mentioned on the radio the other day maybe having to play a little bigger against the team is, uh, with Minnesota's size. Um, specifically with the lineups like Josiah Rink and Jawan, what, what are you able to do with um, kind of like volleyball lineup? Well, there? thanks for listening, Wilson. I appreciate <laughs> it. Um, it's, uh, you know what, it, it's something that we're, we're prepared to do. Uh, they played a couple minutes together. But as we play against bigger, stronger, faster guys, uh, we're going to have to see more of that lineup out there and uh, you know we're, we're ready to throw that uh, team I thought we needed more offense out there in the second half and you know we'll see how uh, how we do with that lineup we've still got combinations that we haven't seen much of a very small sample size uh, but those guys will get time together and, uh, and, and hopefully they play well it is definitely going to be our most physical lineup with those three guys on the floor together Brinks at Sunday, flushing it, moving on. Just where are you seeing the leadership and mentality of this team kind of resetting after Sunday? The thing that uh, this group has, it's got age and experience. We're, we're the oldest team in the Big Ten, and I have seen leadership with this group. Once we put that film behind us, once we flushed it, our guys did come out and have great effort. You need leadership to do that. So, you know, that's one thing. We had long conversations in that film room the last couple days. We've watched a lot of clips, not only from the Creighton game, but on Minnesota and the challenges that they're going to provide for us. But our veteran guys have really set the tone and, uh, you know, done a good job, I think, of putting that game uh, behind us from the other night. You know, again, that's in the practice gym. It, it's all about now putting that aside and going out and executing and doing the things that we have done 
in practice and the things that we've worked on. And, you know, again, I'm confident that our guys will do that. They'll bounce back with effort. No reason to believe they won't. Uh, it's really been the makeup of this team so far this season. Uh, you know, but this schedule, it's, it's, it's tough, you know, from here on out. We don't have another easy game on the schedule. So it's just about going out, hopefully uh, taking it one at a time, starting with uh, the game tomorrow night. How important is a quick start, not only for your guys' confidence, but also to kind of get Minnesota reeling a little bit? Yeah, it, it's important uh, any time uh, you take the floor. And, you know, this is the first time we're playing a late game with, with the 8 o'clock start. So, you know, it's always important to set the tone early and, uh, and getting off to a great start. There's so many runs. Uh, that are taking place right now with the three-point shot and the analytics and, and uh, you know you saw it with their game uh, against Missouri that went the wrong way and then you saw it the right way against Ohio State when they were down 20 and they were up 20. Uh, so there's so many runs you got to keep playing. That, that's one thing that's so important in this uh, in this game is you know regardless of what happens out there you got to stay in a moment you got to keep competing. Uh, we didn't do a good enough job of that uh, the other night against Creighton. Hopefully we'll be better the rest of the way. He's getting there. He's, he's getting better. Uh, you didn't listen to the radio, obviously. <laughs> I'm juggling so many sports right now. Friend. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so anyway, it's, you know, for Blaze, he's uh, he's doing a lot of one-on-one workouts right now. We're ramping up his activity. His uh, numbers are, are getting better. Uh, he's still got a ways to go, but he is definitely moving in the right direction. Ramel, not going to travel? Uh, he is not, no. He's still battling an illness, and, um, you know, there's some stuff going through campus right now. Uh, so we will leave them back. Thanks for coach. All right, thanks, guys. Thank